On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, $11,000 for repair and some major progress right behind me on the Airplane Factory version 1.0. Hey my friend, welcome back to another edition of Check 6 Aviation. Yeah, I had some issues with the truck. I've been home for quite a while and uh, been really kind of evaluating where I go from here. Um, you know, professionally with driving that is. With the plane, oh that's, I'm not going anywhere with that. that I mean, well I am going somewhere, but uh, I am that, that thing, this thing is going to get built either way. So, yeah, uh, what happened was I had some, I had a lifter noise that I thought would be solved, but I was hoping it would be solved by a uh, by an overhead service. Well, that didn't do it. Upon deeper inspection by the shop, found out that the number five lobe, or the one of the lobes on number five cylinder on my Kenworth T680 had basically worn down to nothing <sighs> 11 well the initial estimate came back at twenty five thousand dollars twenty four and a half thousand dollars to repair because they have to pull the engine out and access the camshaft from the rear of the engine you know thank you pack uh, and then reinstall the you know the new one that was later um, negotiated down by the leasing company to $11,000. I, I just don't have the money for that. So yeah, uh, they're wanting to sell the truck out from underneath me now, which it, it's a lease truck. I'm in a lease purchase program. They are well within their, their right to do so. I don't own it. Thankfully, there is a walkaway clause in there. Um, they want me to lease another truck. I, I don't know if that I really want to do that in this market, in this freight market, with fuel prices the way they are. I was having a hard time just keeping up with the payments on the truck that I was driving. And if I would lease a brand new truck, I'm thinking that the payments are going to be even more expensive than what this one was. So that all happened just before this or this whole ordeal started just before Halloween. So here we are past Thanksgiving already. Uh, I went through orientation for a new company doing drive away, delivering new trucks, uh, got about three quarter, about uh, two thirds of the way through the orientation and they decided that I wasn't a good fit for them. So back here, but in the meantime, between, yeah, that was, that was just recently. I left just before, about maybe a week before Thanksgiving. And in that time from the third, from the third week of yeah, November, previous to Halloween, I was out here. So let me see, let me show you what I've got going on here. So I've laid some grass down. It's coming up pretty nicely. Um, got some paint on the walls. It's looking pretty nice, pretty like, kind of like a candy cane. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of like the Christmas house in a way. Uh, got some nice trim on there. I'm gonna do some more up here, but in the, on the inside, that is where we really have some work done. Everything has, all of the wiring has been done. Uh, I have had, I've taken pictures and shown these to electricians uh, the, of the box. Uh, thank you, YouTube University, for showing me how to do this. Uh, I showed it to a te uh, Texas electrician, and he said, "Yeah, it's done right." So the only thing I've got left to do inside here before I connect it to power is I've got a little bit, I've got one of these junctions not wired. So I'm gonna kind of bring up another wire up to there. Um, I could, you know, I should run a another wire down through here, down through the conduit, but that's just gonna be, 
massively hard. Uh, if I just do like a, a uh, like a connector and just do a, another another junction, another uh, cable down here, I, I think I should be okay. Because basically, what I was told is that three of these will function the way I have it right now, but the other three will not. So, so it's just a matter of what do I do? And I think that's the best option right now. So I've got a delivery to go do. So uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up real quick and make this a real quick video. Um, but yeah, pretty soon we'll be connecting up to power. Uh, I've, got, I've got to get drywall on that on the yeah, window wall. Uh, I've got everything wired up inside. It's just a matter of finishing up. And until next time, keep yeah. Remember this time, and I will be right back with another video soon. I know I'm behind on editing videos from Oshkosh and everything. We got one more video to to get done. Um, I've just been focused on family. And with the, with the financial situation, I'm, I know everyone will understand. But uh, anyway, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I need to get the sub subscriber count. Uh, something like about like 70%, 60, per 60 to 70% of you watching my videos are actually not subscribed. And with a new channel like, like mine, hitting that subscribe button helps me out a lot. It helps me to get to that 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 revenue stream, you know, get closer to those the the metrics that YouTube is wanting for the revenue stream. Additionally, uh, give me a like, hit that like button, smash that like button. That'll you tell the YouTube algorithm that you like video content like like this, like like building. Uh, I am going to be building an RV10, an airplane in the out of this 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 building here. This is why I built this build. I'm in the process of doing this. And also, we have a merchandise store. We can get some really cool merch. I'm not talking about the, the usual t-shirts. I mean, I've got stickers, I've got backpacks, I've got gym bags, I've got hoodies. My God, any anything that, you know, to show my your appreciation for Check 6 Aviation and get the word out said hey guys there's this cool youtuber out he's just getting started he's building an airplane in the building that he just built so that that's all for for me for this that's all for this video i really appreciate you guys love you and see you at the next air show peace